doing is the uh, the testing to uh, we're just putting water in it to run up the pressure on it and just check and then check the spray pattern off the back of it okay to make sure everything is, is set up the way that it's supposed to be before we mix the vinegar to put yeah. into this to uh, about 20 percent dilution to kill anything and everything it touches nice so but it's organic 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 yes. but the uh, the only, one problem we do have to look for and we do have a whole pile of lime over there is that uh, the acidic acid of the vinegar will actually uh, lower the pH level, which is we're trying to raise the pH level. Yeah. So hopefully we're not putting so much on that it'll actually affect the pH balance. But we do have 60 tons of lime we're putting on the land, so yeah, that should uh, bring us back into balance, I think. Right. Awesome. That's a cool this sprayer. Is a, this is 60 gallons, 66 gallons. Okay. So this makes it pretty nice. So it's about 15 gallons of vinegar to. 45 gallons of uh, well yeah. water yeah. to get the proper, but uh, household uh, vinegar is only 5%, and so we're going with 20%. If they, you're lucky nowadays, it's even less, yeah. so. So but they say anywhere between 10 and 15% does a good job at 20%, especially with this being brand new pasture, et cetera, and with the, with the weeds and stuff on it, making sure we're right. killing everything we touch. Right, so, so where did you get the vinegar? We got it from uh, Bell Chemical out of uh, Missoula, I think it's Missoula, Montana. And they shipped it they over shipped here? They shipped it to us, yeah. And of course, we had to pay for it. We got 55 right. gallons of it. You can buy it in the 275-gallon tote okay. as well. Uh, or you can buy it by the gallon. But uh, for this solution, you can get it and you can get it in 45% as well. And, of course, we went for the 75% because you can mix more water with it to get, yeah. uh, get more and keep the dilution at 20%. Okay. So. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah, that's a cool Right. You can actually turn off a sprayer. Oh, okay. It says it does 35, uh, 35 uh, feet. Okay. As long as these are at 15, 15 degree angle, so it sprays out, and then it doesn't overlap with uh, the center sprayer. Okay. So, and then you have an individual. You have an individual wand you can use as well, and it's got a mechanical cut off right here. Okay. For turning that on and off. That's sweet. So if you want to, you know, do the drive by, you can do the drive by as well. Yeah. Type of stuff. Like if you want to get in a covert or something like that. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking, you know, we need goats, too, to just take care of an area. You know, like maybe like yeah. four goats. Nobody just... wants to eat goats, though, so you need to do pigs. Well, Chris likes eating goats. Chris likes goat? Yeah. Oh. Oh, my God. There is a lady. About, about 55 PSI. water right now. Looks like we might have to add more water. <laughs> there you go.
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So all three of them have on and off valves. Yeah. So that's... you can spray you can just however you want it. Yeah. Really cool. Yeah. So it looks pretty darn good. Yeah. Sweetness. vinegar in there no yet, so they're yeah, not, not yet. killing the flowers. Uh, so you gotta do a test with just plain water. Yep. Make sure everything works first right. before you put any chemicals or anything in. Yeah. So. Okay, so now we gotta go get that vinegar in there. Yeah. But you probably need a little more water. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Hey guys, we have 45 gallons in the tank and now we're going to add 15 gallons of the vinegar solution. You can see it right there. Danger! Hazardous! Hazard, hazardous! I can't even speak English. Don't recommend doing this without the mask. Proper PPE. -P -P -E. Yeah. Stupid sweat bees. <laughs> and something else. There we go. But it works better to do this in the heat than Well you gotta for the for this to work because it, it burns the it burns the foliage. Yeah. That's how it uh, that's how it kills it. Standing far back.
do it, huh? Yeah, let me see if I can stand it without the wall. Okay. Nothing quite stand. Not too bad. This thing is hot. Well, that's not too bad, but it had a sort of spray in it, so. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. Gonna... Onward and upward. Okay. We'll have to get some, I'll be out there in a little bit. Hey guys, there's my brother-in-law. Um, now, what he's doing is he's spraying that area because we're gonna put a f food plot there. <clears throat> Very often we see deer up on this hill. And so we're putting in a food plot of um, probably corn or something like that. Um, you know, for our own enjoyment. And um, we can, you know, it's in their, their area of travel. So that's what you do. And uh, that's what we're doing. Um, and I'm, I'm staying this far away because that stuff, that vinegar water is getting sprayed. Um, it's 25% vinegar at this point. I still don't want to be close to it. <laughs> Um, when he was moving it over here, it was 75% vinegar. Um, that's going to kill everything it touches, and I don't want the dogs near it or me near it. And if I go down there, the dogs will follow me down there. They already see my, my brother-in-law down there in the tractor, and they want to go down there. So I'm just going to uh, keep the camera on from here for a little while, and you guys can see how it's working. You saw how the spray... Uh, worked up close, so. You guys, out here is, um, you can see how the um, vinegar is killing. Um, this is uh, crabgrass, and over there is some cow peas and it's killing it and all the way down to the root. And then, um, yeah, the sun kills it. And that's, that was a, so that's, that's the effect of the vinegar on these plants and how it dies like that. That's a total better way to do it. Okay guys, it looks like Scott's done that area and he's moved on to another area where we're putting in a food plot for the deer. Um, exciting stuff happening and soon um, we will be planting the, um, the grass, um, the field, uh, pasture grass, sorry. Um, and soon we will be planting the pasture grass and exciting stuff I know it doesn't seem like a big deal but to have the right kind of grasses in our fields growing um, we got all this lime we're putting down to improve our fields and making a big difference um, to the land out here um, it also improves the value of our property um, to have pasture grass out here and if we have good grass we can grow some good animals some beef some uh, pork and some wonderful things for the homestead. God bless you guys. We'll see you next time here on Hedgehog's Homestead. Thank you for coming. Bye.